Hey friends, hey, it's your favorite host, LaDonna PM here. Listen, I know you're busy enjoying my podcast, The Owner's Manual, but have you ever wanted to have your own podcast? You heard me right. You can do this too. Just like I mentioned in episode two of The Owner's Manual, (laughs) shameless plug, the world needs your voice of inspiration and genius. You can have your very own podcast using Anchor, and it's so easy. You don't need any special equipment, although that's nice. You can do it right from your sofa and your cell phone. No joke. It costs zero dollars. Yep, you heard me right. It's free 99, and all the tools that you need to customize your podcast are at your fingertips. Anchor even distributes your podcast for you, so you can be heard on multiple platforms like Spotify, Apple, Google Podcasts, and so much more. And you can easily monetize your podcast. So all you have to do is download the free Anchor app or go to Anchor FM to get started. That's A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M. Hey, I can't wait to listen in. Thank you for joining me for another episode on the Owner's Manual Podcast. I am your host, LaDonna PM, aka Miss Purpose Pusher, and the OWN Podcast is the number one destination for us busybodies who want positive perspectives and inspiration to create moments of purposeful pause in our lives. Previously on the Owner's Manual Podcast. Hey, how y'all doing today? And welcome, welcome, welcome. We are on episode number 15, and I'm so excited to be joining you today to talk about something that I feel like has been pressing on my heart so heavy this week. But before I get into that, if you missed last week's episode, 14, where we're talking about taking off your mask, make sure you pause this episode, go back and listen to those wonderful nuggets of how to connect with our truest and authentic selves by taking off our mask. I really enjoyed that, especially since I have to constantly remind myself to continue to be who I am purposefully and wonderfully made to be. And so if you need encouragement in that area, that podcast episode will definitely be a blessing to you. So today we're going to be talking about how to lose the good and make room for great in a simple act of powerful transformation. Don't want to miss it. More into this after the break. Hey friends, if you've been enjoying the Owner's Manual podcast, let's stay connected. You can find me on Facebook at LaDonna PM, on Instagram at LaDonna.PM, or on our YouTube channel, LaDonna PM. My mission is to inspire, teach, and create, and I'm sure you'll find all of that and more on our social media platforms. Let's stay connected. So here we are in one of my favorite segments of the Owner's Manual podcast, and that is the Soul Coaching Card of the Day. You already know that I consider myself to be your soul coach, right? (laughs) So it should come as no surprise as I love to share messages of hope, inspiration, and encouragement. And that's what this time together during our weekly podcast moments are for. This card of the day is brought to you by... The Soul Coaching Oracle Guidebook. The author is Denise Lynn, and this card will share a message of encouragement that will help you powerfully and immediately discern the truth of what your soul wants you to know. You guys, so every Sunday when I sit down to record this podcast, I always say a prayer so that the message and the intention is set and then the message for the soul coaching uh, cards can just flow beautifully and easily with what I feel like your soul wants you to know. And so today on episode 15, I'm talking about 
losing the good and making room for greater and the power of transformation. And guys, guess what? As I'm shuffling through the cards and I'm saying my prayer, the card that pops out for you all today is transformation. You cannot make this up. I promise you, that's what makes this so beautiful this journey that I'm on and with this podcast and with the journey that I'm on to fulfill my purpose it's there are no coincidences and accidents in life and I feel as if every step that I've made and I know that every step that others make when they decide to go on this journey of transformation and self-discovery it unfolds beautifully as it is it intended And so as I share today's soul coaching card of the day, I want you to be reminded of the message of the card, the message of the moment, the message of where you are right now, and ask yourself, where can you open yourself up to more messages from your divine intuition and see what you get. So without further ado, I'm going to dive right into the soul coaching card of the day. I'm sorry. I'm just so excited about how these things unfold in our journey. And it's so exciting to me. Today's card is transformation. And it's a beautiful card of a butterfly on a limb. I'm not sure if we've gotten this card before. I'm pretty sure we have. And a crescent moon up in the top left side of it. And the card simply means that positive changes are coming. Old structures, beliefs, and ideas are falling away and will be replaced with vitality and new pathways. Soon you'll be seeing the world in a fresh way. Your soul wants you to know, like the phoenix that rises majestically from the ashes, a big change in your life is at hand. You're at the beginning, in the middle, or at the completion of an enormous transformation in your life. Don't hold on to old structures and limited ways of thinking. Even if it looks as if you're in murky waters, this is only the clearing that occurs just before rebirth. It's all for your highest good. The affirmation for today is I am joyously centered and safe as wonderful changes occur around me. And so it is. Are you desiring a little bit more gratitude in your life? If you've been following along with my podcast, you'll know that one of the ways that I do this is by journaling. I've created a new journal just for you available on Amazon. It's called my Love, Peace and Joy Gratitude Journal. I believe that small seeds of gratitude produce a harvest of hope. So if you're desiring to create more spaces of gratitude in your life, allow this journal to help you achieve that goal. You can find my journal at this shortcut link, bit.ly forward slash LPM books. That's all lowercase. Again, that's bit.ly forward slash LPM books. I hope you enjoy it. Hello, beautiful people. Happy Sunday and welcome to episode 15 of the Owner's Manual podcast. Today, we're talking about making room. Yes, losing the good to make room for the great and powerful acts of transformation. So recently, in one of my mastermind groups that I belong to, um, we were doing an activity of fixing our brand one-liners, right? We're stating what we do, what we want to solve, and how we're going to solve it. And so the activity involves us to create that statement of purpose and um, solution. And we had to keep revising it over and over again to make it more succinct, to fix it, to take out some of the extra wording, to be more to the point, to be more descriptive. And the I got to tell you, the constant revisions were driving me nuts. Like I'm such a perfectionist. I've come to discover that. But I was looking at some of those statements that people were writing like, wait, these are so good, you know, but our coach kept pushing us to make them great. Have you ever felt like you're just so comfortable with good? You don't necessarily want to take the energy or the time to figure out what's greater. Um, I know that happens for me sometimes. I could get into this comfortable spot of 
but it's working and this this is easy for me or this is this is where my comfort zone is and I'm okay with where I am right now but on the inside of me there is a tiny nudging that's saying I want to go here I want to do this I want to be greater I want to not necessarily accomplish more but inside I know that I want to connect to a deeper meaning and purpose in my life and that is the drive that is the push and so I can understand why this exercise and also why I was resistant to the exercise it was so prevalent. And today I just want to talk about what that means. What is the this powerful act of transformation? What does it mean to lose the good and make room for the great? And so when we talk about letting go of good to make room for the great, we see examples all the time, all around us. Some of them we may not even realize. And that example for me, it's the most prevalent in nature. You know, I'm a nature girl. I love to be outside and just planting my toes in the grass and breathing in the fresh air and just watching how the trees just sway and it just soothes me. But nature teaches us how to let go of the good to make room for the great all the time and to do this with such grace. But nature teaches us the power in the act of transformation. So one of the ways that it does that, for example, is like if you take a tree, the tree leaves, they're green all summer. And in the fall, they turn to a reddish gold. And in the winter, the the limbs are left bare. And in the spring, we see this process and the flow and the it, you, we see this grace just rises up again when new buds of leaves starts coming to take up space where it was previously bare. And so I believe that transformations come to show us our true resiliency and the power that we have on the inside that pushes us to search. It pushes us to mine for more and to self-reflect, which leads to self-renewal, which is a pivotal point on the path of self-discovery. And I talk about all the time to- that all the time because we're really on this journey of self-discovery, which does lead us to our divine purpose and it cycles over and over again just like nature I want to make the connection though too especially this week when we are on the onset of a new moon um, that new moon in Gemini and we see this again in nature as the moon itself shows us the power of transformation cycling over and over each month Letting go and making space, death and rebirth. So much like the moon in her cycles, you know, we see that example of the moon waning and waxing each month. So right now it's dark now. It's dark, it's empty, it's void of light. It's vast open womb space that slowly fills and becomes full of light reflecting in each of her phases until she's full. And then she releases the light day by day until she's empty again. And this is the divine act of transformation. And yesterday I released a new blog post and it was called the, the, a dash of purpose. And I used this beautiful photo of Bessie Norris, who most of us know as Betty Wright. And it was a picture of her taken, I believe, in 1973. And she just looks so beautiful, like youth juxtaposed in cultural splendor and excellence, like the way her hair was styled and just the look in her eyes. And knowing that she was laid to rest yesterday, I just imagine her, you know, just anchored in peace with love of those that gathered around her to remember the treasure that she is. And, you know, us being completely inspired by the dash of her life being well lived and full of purpose. And it reminded me of a poem that my friend shared with me recently during one of our new moon circles, as we prepared for this Gemini new moon. And It's by author Rumi, and as I reflected on the grand circle of death and rebirth, the line that strikes my heart the most, I'll share it after I read the poem, but the line that strikes my heart the most just reminded me of the enormity of this divine design 
of that our journeys are an infinite loop of transcendence and transformation. And so the poem says, I died as mineral and became a plant. I died as plant and rose to animal. I died as animal and I was human. Why should I fear? When was I less by dying? Yet once more I shall die human to soar with angels blessed above. And when I sacrifice my angel soul, I shall become what no mind ever conceived. As a human, I will die once more. Reborn, I will with the angel soar. And when I let my angel body go, I shall be more than mortal mind can know. Wow. I'm telling you, the line that got me and my feelers was, when was I less by dying? Wasn't that poem just amazing? I'm telling you, what it just makes me wonder, how do we embrace daily the death to self and become reborn in all of our imaginings? What will you make of your dash and how will you release what serves no more and bring life to new visions? Purposeful pause. That is a purposeful pause moment for sure. When was I less by dying? And when we think about the reflection of this, this act of transformation, I am just filled with so much inspiration and it caused me to just examine areas of my own life when I was challenged by letting go, by becoming void and empty um, and letting go what I may think was even good. You know, like it's been times in my life where I've been like, wait, 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 but this was good. But was it great, though? And that brings me to another area of introspection is that sometimes we're mistakenly thinking that something is good because we tolerate the comfort level of it because we tolerate the routine of it we don't want to disrupt the ease and flow of our lives in order to grow and so oftentimes we mislabel those things that we think are good they may not actually be good we just may have been tolerating them and so the push for greater encourage us to to mind those areas where we need to let go and look at where we may need a gentle nudge on the inside. Where is, where is our spirit guys just calling us or asking us to go deeper, to mine out those stagnant areas of ineffectiveness that we hold on to for comfort. And, and it's asking us to step into the unknown. We cannot do that. Unless we accomplish the work of fully letting go and making room. Then sitting in that neutral, in that vast wide open space, just neutrally without attachment and seeing what's there. And looking on the inside of ourselves to see a substantial, to reacquaint ourselves with the power of transformation from the void. And we all have that power. You know how they say we make, we're so good at making something out of nothing. You know, I believe that all of us have that innate gift. We can embody that archetype of of creating out of the empty void and giving birth to light using our lives and our intuition, our strength, our power and our dreams and our purpose to guide the way forward into greater. And so before I leave, I'd like to invite you um, to a special invitation of something that I'm launching in and exiting out of old familiar constructs of comfort and being hidden and and being afraid to to let my voice shine. Um, I'm doing something new and I'm launching it June 1st. So and the reason being is that many people like me, push against developing new versions of themselves because it's comfortable and painless there. I know, I know from experience, I've been there and it's a living, breathing conversation that I have with myself daily. What do I need to shed in order to make room for more, for greater? And in order to make room for more, you have to release what doesn't belong anymore. And so they say it takes 21 days to create new habits. So I'm inviting you to join me for a transformational journaling experience. We always talk about journaling on this podcast and 
I just got to share like this is what inspired my second book, Pursuing Purpose, the 21 day devotional to triumph. I wrote that that book on the plane on the way back coming from beautiful Sedona, Arizona, where I was inspired by the majestic beauty of the red rocks, the vastness of the Grand Canyon and just inspired by beauty and nature and and just what is possible and powerful to create within myself Um, Because I'm always looking to transform and renew my mind to new things. And so this particular transformational journaling experience is where we're going to get to dive deeper into the pursuit of purpose and how it's already present in our lives. And based on the devotionals that I wrote in that book, I would like for us to go on this journey to make room you know, for our good to become greater. And so it's available for you to sign up now. The doors are open. We start on June 1st and you get 24 seven access to the content. You get a private supportive group where you get feedback and, and me personally to guide and, and lead the way. And I also will give you daily mini videos with easy and quick action items to support your purpose pursuits. So I only have room for a few because I want to keep it intimate, but you can sign up now. All you have to do is go to bit.ly forward slash experience purpose, bit.ly forward slash experience purpose to join us on this 21 day transformational journaling experience. And so once you sign up there, I'll be sharing, um, some inspiration and some encouragement as we ramp up to get started for the official launch date of June 1st. And I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Really, I'm so excited to be stepping out of my comfort zone and saying goodbye to those areas of my life where I want to hide, where I want to just be less than. And I'm saying yes to greater because I know that this will bless so many people. I get asked so often, like, how did I start this journey of self-discovery? How did I get on my path to purpose? And my friends, I believe that this will help you and push you in the direction of hot pursuit of your purpose. Even if you already know and you want to go deeper and mine those areas where and explore those areas where purpose already exists, I think that this will be a monumental blessing for you to just take these 21 days and allow yourself to make room for the greater mission of purpose that's in your life. And I hope you'll join me again. The doors are open. We start June 1st and I would be so honored to have you right next to me on this journey of pursuing purpose. Also, I'd like for you to know that this podcast is available on Apple Podcasts as well. And if you've been enjoying these last 15 episodes of the Owner's Manual podcast, I would love, love, love for you to do me a huge favor to go onto the Apple podcast, leave a review, five stars, hey, leave a review of this podcast and how you've been inspired or guided or touched or transformed by the messages that I've been sharing each week. I would love it if you would do that. I would love it because, you know, it helps me to see that this purpose is so meaningful, not just for me, but for you too. And um, I'll see you next week. And until then, peace, love and purposeful living. Take care, guys. Thank you for joining me. You have just listened to episode 15 of the Owner's Manual podcast, where we talked about making room, losing the good to make room for the great as a powerful act of transformation. And my dears, I hope you were inspired and inspired to just let go of what no longer serves you and make room for the greater things that are coming into your life. Each and every week will be a new episode of the Owner's Manual Podcast. They drop every Sunday designed to give you a purposeful pause on your journey of self-discovery. Thank you for joining me. You can also find me at www.ladonnapm.com where you can find blogs, resources, 
the podcast episode notes list and other nuggets of inspiration on your journey. Thank you so much. Peace, love, and purposeful living.